Hello, my name's Jordan and I run Our Sensory Kids. Today I'm going to show you this fidget bag. First of all, look how fun this bag looks. We've, the bag itself is a fidget toy, so we've got laces to tie up and you can store something in there. We've also got these little pockets, we've got some Velcro pockets and a button pocket so before you've even got inside your children can already fit it until their heart's content there's also a little plastic pocket here for the name right let's have a look inside oh look at all that fidgety fun the first thing i see is this cush ball I remember these from when I was little. They're great to squeeze and to wiggle as the little plastic tentacles are great if you shake them. I know lots of children that like shaking these in front of their eyes. And also, bouncing them, great for children that like wiggling in front of their face. What else have we got? We've got a bendy man. You can bend his arms and his legs whichever way you like. These are great fidget toys for children that struggle to keep their fingers still. They can be fiddling and concentrating on what you're saying at the same time. It might also be good for car journeys as it's little and doesn't make any noise. They can fiddle it away and you can concentrate on driving. We also have a squishy tentacle ball. These are so great for wiggling in front of your eyes or for bouncing too and they feel amazing. Each tentacle has, feels like it has a life of its own and if you rub it, look, oh it comes alive. This is absolutely mesmerising. There's also this stubby ball with lots of little stubby spikes all over it. It feels amazing and look what happens when you squeeze it it blows right up. The stubs on it actually make it much easier to hold and much easier to grip for sensory children as well as adding a lovely sensory element to the ball as well. A great fidgety ball. There's also a wrist squigglet. The idea is that a child can take this around with them and it might not get lost because it's on their wrist. The inside of the squigglet has little tentacles but the idea being that that touches the skin so they're already getting that feedback and then on the outside the tentacles are much larger and wigglier and children can wiggle in front of their eyes or wiggle on their arm even if they're not looking they're getting feedback from their arm great for the proprioception sense which is often why children do wiggle in the first place so they know where their hands or feet are when they're walking along also being such a great bright colour it's very very engaging and motivating I know lots of children that would like this there's also this extra large puffer ball again with tentacles all over it to wiggle and shake until your fidgety heart is content it's also really bright and if you squeeze it oh <laughs> it puffers out there's also a little handle you can really bounce and swing. There's also this beautiful podling from Kill Toys. These are little creatures that oh, sleep in a pod. This one has beautiful wings and a beanie tail. A lovely soft alternative for a fidget toy. It could be a great comfort for some of our children if they're feeling anxious. All neatly kept in the little pod. There's a wiggly centipede. This is a favourite amongst children that like to fidget and wiggle in front of their eyes. It's really long and you can stretch it and the tentacles seem to wiggle about madly. You can stretch it and pull it and wiggle it in front of your face. And it has two cute little eyes to give it some character. I've seen lots of children wiggle it like this. Children are amazing at knowing what they need and what they want and how to get the best out of toys. Us adults can learn a lot from watching them. We also have one of these dinky glitter tubes, like the long ones, but just a smaller version, compact that you can take with you if your child needs a bit of sensory stimulation. If a 
to sensory visual stimulation. It has little bubbles of colour inside and glittery metallic sequins. I know lots of children that find these very calming indeed. There's also this knitting ball. It's lots and lots of little coloured stars, all knitted and twisted together to make the perfect spiky sensory ball. With it being spiky, it just gives extra feedback when you hold it or roll it on your body. And feedback is often what children are looking for when they feel the need to fidget. There's also this liquidy spawn ball. It just looks like a normal squishy ball, but when you squeeze it, you can feel the water beads inside. It feels amazing when you squeeze it and it gives a great squishy sound too. It actually feels pretty robust. It's always have to be when sensory children are involved. Oh, it gives such a good squishy sound. And last of all, we have one moody face ball, although this one's got a very happy face on it. It's a balloon feeling ball with what feels like cornflour inside. It keeps its shape wherever you squish it. You could squish it, you could squish it flat, or you could make it round. You can actually squeeze it really, really hard. So for children that feel the need to crash and bang all over the place to get feedback, actually, you might only need this to get the same sensation. What a great fidget bag. Everything your child might need on a journey or in the classroom to satisfy their fidgety needs. All inside the perfect fidget bag. I hope you find that information useful. You can find more from me on my social media accounts, all our sensory kids. See you there. <laughs> Bye.